Hey guys, it's Jackson here from Titanic Games, and in this video, what we're going to be doing is uh, adding our temperature, or not our temperature, our time to our screen. Okay, so right now, if we press play, we can see our temperature up in the top, but we're going to add our time now, or, you know, whatever the current time of day is to the screen. So let's go ahead and do that. First thing that we'll do is we'll go into our UI game HUD, okay, and we're going to add a uh, another horizontal box, very similar. To very similar to how this setup is. Uh, in fact, so similar, we're going to hit Control C on the horizontal box and just hit Control V on the canvas panel to paste a new one. So we'll take this text block, all right, and we want to make sure that it's a variable, and we're going to call this time text, okay? And then for this text block, we want to change its text here uh, to simply read time semicolon space, all right. Now, next, let's go ahead and select the horizontal box and we'll move this over. So position X should be negative 40. Position Y should be 100. Everything else is good the way it is. Uh, next, we're gonna take our time here and we're gonna change its size to, uh, the size of the fill to about 0.3, okay? So now, uh, next what we can do is, let's go to our uh, graph. Okay, and very similarly, to, very similarly to how we set up this set world temp, we're also going to create another function called set time. Okay, we'll add two inputs onto this guy. First one we'll call f time, or it'll be an f time variable, excuse me, and we'll just call it in time. So the time that we want to pass into the function. We'll add another one here of type e clock type that we'll just call clock type okay now for the in time we're going to right click promote it to a local variable so that it's easier to use okay then for our clock type we're going to do a switch all right plug that in and there we go so now we're ready to you know do different things depending on the time or the the clock that we have okay so 24 hours is the easiest to do right end goal here is we want to take our time text get it we want to say set text. Set text of text. We'll go ahead and plug that in and create some space here for us to work with. Okay, so in the last video I used what's called a format node. So we're going to do that same kind of thing here. We're going to right click and type format text. Okay, and how we're going to format this is we're going to say day space. Then we're going to do a bracket. I'll get my mouse out of the way so you can see it better. A uh, bracket. And actually, I'm going to hold. Uh, control and zoom so you can see it even better. Okay, so bracket uh, days bracket. Okay, then I'm going to hit comma space bracket hours end bracket. Then we'll do a semicolon bracket minutes bracket and then we're good to go. Okay, so you should have something looking like this now. It's got days, hours, and minutes on it. Okay, and we'll plug that in. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom out a little bit here now. Uh, I actually kind of like this zoomed in. Probably helps you guys see it a little better. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know in the comments if you guys like this actually, because I could keep it zoomed in if it would help. Okay. So next, what we'll do is we'll take our time. <laughs> we'll take our time. Uh, we'll split this, and I'm gonna take days, and we can just plug it straight in. So the nice thing about formats is that um, you know it reads in different types of variables. Uh, so it can read a byte, an integer, a float, a text, or an e-text gender. Okay, so that means you can automatically just plug in like an integer and it'll read it for you. Okay, uh, next what we'll do is we'll take our hours here. Uh, and we need to do uh, something with the hours, okay? And all that is is we need to take it and say to text. So to text int, click the drop down. And we're going to choose two and two for the min and max integral digits. Okay, so this this is just how many digits that we want to show up for our hours. So basically, no matter what we want, um, well, we kind of want we want two to show up, right? Now, if you only want like one to show up, okay. So let's say that there is a, uh, you know, it's one o'clock or something, uh, then you know it would only show one. But if you want to show two, then it would say zero one for one o'clock. Okay, so that's just kind of a little difference there. But either way, make sure you cap it off at two, okay, just for safety. Plug that guy in, and we'll do the same exact thing. Okay, so copy paste that. We'll do the same thing for the minutes. Hook this up. I'm gonna scoot it up a little bit. We'll add some reroute nodes in here by double clicking the lines. To tidy up. 
take this, scoot it over, and there we go. We already have our 24 hour clock, so we can hit C, and we'll call this format 24 hour clock. Okay, there we go. Next, what we need to do is do the 12 hour clock, okay, which it's not very much different, but there's just a couple extra little formatting things uh, that we have to do. Okay, so again, end goal is we want to take our time text and say set text of text. All right, plug that in. Now we're going to use a format again, uh, but we've got a couple more things, or I guess one other thing to add to it. So I'll zoom in here again so you can see the format node really easy. We'll say format text. Okay, and similar to how the other one was, we'll say day bracket days end bracket comma space bracket hours oops hours end bracket semicolon bracket uh, minutes end bracket and then we're gonna do a space and we'll add one more variable here so we'll say bracket am slash pm end bracket oh not a question mark a slash so I will add one more variable that we'll be able to you know add on to the text formatting to say whether it's am or pm so we'll hit enter and that's how yours should look right now so plug that guy in I'll zoom out a little bit okay so now uh, what we'll do is we'll take our time now we'll get it and we'll right click split it again now uh, days right we can just plug it straight in like before okay the next easiest one here is minutes okay what we'll do is we'll say to text and that again I'm just gonna use two and two so that it always has two on the screen at once okay now hours we're gonna eventually use this node so we can just duplicate it plug it in but we have to do a couple things before we can uh, you know determine our hours okay so since it's since we're counting hours in 24 hour time right uh, going from 0 to 23 that is we need a way to you know tell us when it's 12 o'clock all right and then if it's 12 o'clock to kind of you know start us over at one kind of thing so rather than doing like a branch or something we can use what's called a modulus so we'll do a percent sign here and do a modulus or a modulo and we're gonna enter 12 okay because there's 12 hours in a day and what a modulo does is it returns the remainder of a division okay so let's say that the time is 11 hours okay 11 divided by 12 will give us a remainder of 11 all right pretty simple math uh, but now if we have you know if we're at 12 hours it'll do 12 divided by 12 gives us a remainder of zero okay because there's nothing okay um, so with that knowledge we're going to take this and also do a less than and we're going to check if it's less than one meaning it's zero okay because we need to account for the fact that when this modulo it has a zero remainder um, we don't want to you know output a zero we want to output 12 okay so we'll take this and we'll do what's called a select okay so that'll pick uh, a value based on you know a condition so this first one we'll plug it in here for false and then for this true we'll hard code it to 12 okay then we'll take this guy plug it into the value and there we go that's all we need to do pretty simple uh, but like I said just a little bit different formatting so now we can go ahead and tidy this up a little bit. All right. Uh, oh, I guess we also need to take care of the AM or PM. So we'll do that in a second after we've added some reroute nodes here. So just double click to add those reroutes. I love reroutes. They always make things look so nice. All right. So let's actually, let's actually take all of this and we'll move it out here a little more so we have some more space to work with. I'll zoom in again. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our hours again, and this time we're going to check if it's less than 12, okay, because if our hours, and just always remember that these hours are counted in, you know, from 0 to 23, or 24 hour time, okay, so when we're checking if it's less than 12, we're checking if the hours are 0 to 11, meaning that that would be our AM, so we're going to do a select, okay, now, uh, to get, you know, to make these a text, because we're going to make this a text so we can just directly plug it in, I'm going to drag out and say make literal text, and that will tell this node to be text values. Uh, but then just for like, you know, just for, for uh, 
you know, I guess clean, making this more compact, we can delete that and now we can just enter in the values directly onto the select. So if it's false, right, meaning it's above 12 o'clock or it's 12 o'clock or above, we want it to be PM. If it's true, we'll say AM. Again, very simple, uh, but just a little bit different formatting. Okay, I'm going to add one more reroute node here just to straighten it out. Okay, and there we go. Now we have our formatting for our 12 hour clock. So we can comment this out, say format 12 hour clock. We'll compile and save that. Now we'll go back. Uh, we need to go back to our weather manager here. Okay, we need to go find the uh, update current time uh, event. So we'll open this up. And you see that all it's doing in here is, you know, it's setting the current time based on, you know, by determining our current time. So this is where we can actually just go ahead and call the function. So we'll take our HUD reference, which we created in the previous video, and we'll say set time. Okay, and that obviously it takes in a time variable, so we can plug that straight in, and then our clock time will be whatever our time is here. So we'll take that, plug it in, compile and save. All right, now let's go ahead, and I'm actually gonna make our minutes per day a little faster so that we can see it in action a little better. We'll take this, and in the details panel, we'll take, we'll set the minutes per day to like, let's say 0.25, so it'll be really fast. Um, and then our clock time, or type, we'll leave it at 24 or 12 hour. So if you press play, you see in the top right, it's showing our time, and ah, oh, why is it doing that? Hmm. Well, that is strange. It shouldn't be doing what it just did there. It shouldn't be resetting to zero. Oh, well, it didn't there. Let's see if it happens again. That's very peculiar. Yeah, hmm, not sure why it's doing it on the zero there. Could be, oh, it could be because, um, I guess, you know, our time starts at zero, but I guess that doesn't make sense because it wasn't doing that earlier. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll see what's wrong with that, but, you know, as you can see, it's, it's, it's working, um, like it's keeping track of our time, just the formatting is a little weird right now. Okay, uh, but if we check it out in the 24 hour clock, we'll see if anything's weird with that too, because uh, that might be an issue. So here we go, we're at 24 hour. We should get to 23 and then it should start over. 23, there we go, starts over at zero. The day increments, which is great. Okay, so I mean, it looks like our 24 hour is working. The only one that looks like it needs a little work is the 12 hour. So we'll go ahead and figure out what's wrong with that right now. All right, so after looking at it again, I just realized that I made a very simple little mistake. Uh, instead of, you know, we're not actually checking if the hours are less than one, because that's not helpful here. We need to check if the modulo is less than one, you know, or basically if it equals zero, essentially. So you could say, is it equal to zero as well? And that would work too. Uh, but anyways, doing this, you know, plugging in the modulo or, you know, the remainder from that to the less than should work. So now if we go ahead and we try this out, uh, I'll, let's just both make our minutes per day like 0.5 or something just to make sure we're all consistent here. Press play and we'll see if it go. It hits 12 o'clock this time. And there we go. So uh, it's working out nicely. If you notice in the top left there by the health bar, I've got a little debugging string, but just ignore that for now. I'm gonna get rid of it. So um, yeah, there you have it. There is our you know our time now being displayed on the screen, how we like it. You can totally format it however you want, um, but you know that's just hopefully going to get you started. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you like it, like or subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.